Welcome everyone to Mets Baseball Recap for August 1st, 2021. The Mets fall to the Cincinnati Reds 7-1. Unfortunately, the Mets could not do anything. The Mets only had three hits in this game from uh, Pilar, Smith, and the one home run that the Mets hit, which was from Jeff McNeil. Other than that, everyone was 0-4. You can't do much with 0-4s. Um, Strowman may be the new DeGrom. Uh, no run support at all. And it's sad. That's just so sad. Um, Strowman was taken out after five and two thirds of an inning. After he gave up uh, a base hit and then a walk. And uh, after that, he had three runs already on the board. And then Castro will end up walking two people, which pushed in another run. Which, no, that run didn't belong to Castro, it belonged to Strowman. Strowman gave up four runs, all of them earned, unfortunately. And then uh, the Mets did come back with a run from Neil's home run. Four to one, but then the Mets just gave up seven, uh, three more runs in the ninth inning, and that's all she wrote. That's all the Mets did. The Mets were Mets bats were just silenced completely. The Mets go on to Miami now, and um, at the moment, Philly is winning and the Braves are losing. But you know, uh, Philly's winning big. I think they're gonna hold on. They, I mean, they can't blow that one. I don't think they can. The Braves right now are down by a run, I believe it was, so they could easily come back. Like I said, uh, the Mets are in control of their own destiny, but they can't win. They're going to lose uh, the first place. Uh, they're still up by four games as of the moment, but that will change. Well, they're three and a half um, up in that moment. If the Braves hold on, let me so I say the Brewers hold on against the Braves, then the Braves will stay at four games. And, um, and the Phillies will jump ahead of three and a half. But we shall see. We shall see. Um, it's bad. It's bad. The Mets offense, like I said, uh, we got one brand new player who, you know, he strikes out a lot. But, you know, he did hit the home run yesterday. He didn't do anything today. Um, Nimmo was out of the lineup yesterday. He was out of the lineup today. Apparently, he has a hamstring issue. We also lost um, uh, Guillaume to a hamstring. He's in the DL for 10 days, uh, the IL for 10 days. And um, it sucks. It just sucks. But, guys, we've got to hold our heads up. we got to put our Mets hats on. I'm going to put on kind of sweaty. And um, say, let's go Mets. Come on, we could do this. Tomorrow, we take on Miami. And then after Miami, we go to Philly. So, big series. Big series coming up. Uh, the Mets have to, have to turn this around. And like I said, uh, the lineup sucks. But if the, they, 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 if they just think about it, and I'll probably do another video about it, they could make a decent lineup. They just need to just stop. Stop with this nonsense of this is the lineup and this is how it is. Instead, if you're going to go analytics, go all the way in it. If not, um, don't use analytics to try to justify anything. Because when you play by the book, then you fail. If you play by analytics, you also fail. So you got to pick one or the other. And I feel like Luis Rojas is in between everything. So it doesn't make sense. But it is what it is. I don't know what to say. Uh, let's go Mets.